It's RBT's Team Rejects versus Not the Experts Pandas, Auburn, Alabama, in the first ever DiGiorno Bowl. In this matchup, we play with standard flag football rules. A 45-yard field, four plays to get 10 yards. We're going to play two 20-minute halves with a running clock. We're allowed one timeout within the last minute of each half. After we score a touchdown, we can elect to kick an extra point or go for two. The defense can blitz the quarterback after three seconds following the snap. This is the first game that we did play against the Pandas, and there is going to be a completely different game number two on Not The Experts channel. There will be a link to game number two of Rejects vs. Pandas IRL in the description box below. And with that said, it is now time to introduce the members of both teams. And before we do meet the players, I want everyone in the comment section below to leave your score predictions for this first ever DiGiorno Bowl. First introducing today's home team, the Pandas. Number five, Keanu, who's their number one wide receiver target. Number 22, Bean, who you will see play a little quarterback today. Number 13, Rory, one of the most dangerous red zone threats for the Pandas. Number 12, Mike, who's also one of their star wide receivers. And last but not least, the Pandas captain, number nine, NTE. Now introducing your rejects. Number two, Jay. We look to use his height advantage as a mismatch today. Number 12, Cody. He's uh, not necessarily Rob Gronkowski, but we can pretend he is. Number eight, Hunter. A nice wide receiver threat and also will attempt some extra points for us today. And yours truly, your rejects captain, number three, RBT. You might be wondering why the heck am I not last? That's because we're saving this man for last. Number 11, Connor. And uh, let this clip do the talking for him. Second down and goal, final 40 seconds. Rogers rolling right, scanning the field. He fires, it's caught. Connor Kramer, touchdown, New Mexico State. So once again, let us know your score predictions for the Pandas versus Rejects in the comment section below. With that said, let's get to the action. Instead of a coin toss, a simple game of rock, paper, scissors, which we do win as we do elect to receive as we will defer in the second half. As I'm telling my players, just want to get a couple quick throws, some quick passes, get a rhythm going as I've always been a player in every sport I've ever played that kind of relies on confidence. So on this first play, Scan in the field, no pressure at all. We see Hunter deep, and the ball is going to be just overthrown. But that was so close to being a one-play touchdown to start off this DiGiorno Bowl. But second down, play number two, 10 yards to go for the first down. Quick little pass outside to Jay as he gets his first reception. Next play, scan in the field, nobody rushing the quarterback. See an open receiver, Hunter, on an out route. And that was almost the first touchdown of the DiGiorno Bowl as Drew got his flag at the last second. About five yards away, as it's now a first and goal. About five yards shy of the end zone. Looking to get a touchdown on this first drive. Plenty of time in the pocket. The throw back of the end zone. Connor with the first touchdown of the DiGiorno Bowl. As your rejects do go on top. Six to nothing as Connor with the toe drag in the back of the end zone. As we do elect to go for two instead of going for the extra point. As uh, we, at the last second, just have to chunk the ball deep before we do get sacked as I didn't see anybody open there. As at the end of drive number one, your rejects are on top, six to nothing. As it's now Pandas football. Let's see what this rejects defense can do first play. Quick little pass to Rory as he picks up about seven yards. Second down for the Pandas, Drew. Look at him. A young Tony Romo, the deep pass, overthrown. As it is going to set up for a third down for the Pandas. Look at Drew, the throw outside. Nice play there from Connor to knock the ball out of the hands of the receiver as it does it up for a fourth down for the Pandas. The rush, the throw. It's going to be a catch from Rory as he uh, is running backwards. I think that was illegal. I think he, he lateraled that forward. Like, I know you can't, like, physically lateral ball forward, but I don't know, like, know what else to call that as it is going to be a turnover on downs. First down the next possession, quick little pass to Connor. Pick up a couple yards, try to get things going. I don't know what that like initial play action was. Deep pass there to Cody, back of the end zone. Just a few yards over his head. As now a third down for the rejects. We need a few yards to pick up the first. Quick little drag there to Cody. About 15 to 20 yards now to get into that end zone. Scanning the field here. Quick little out route there to Mr. Hunter. As that is going to be a first down. Once again, first and goal. 
for your reject. Quick little slant route. Nice play there from Roy to deflect the football. So second and goal here for the rejects. Quick pass this time to Connor as your rejects do go on top. 12 to nothing. I like to go for two again. Looking to get the ball out quicker this time. It's, it's so hard, dude. As he does, Sackus get the flag. As we are now 0 for 2 on two-point conversions. It's just so freaking hard, dude, to complete passes in that small little end zone. As you'll see that theme throughout today's game. But your rejects do go on top. 12 to nothing. So let's see if the Pandas can cut into this rejects lead here early in this ball game. Deep pass from Drew. And that is going to be intercepted by yours truly. RBT in the flesh pick six. I'm so majestic. The reactions of a cheetah here into the Giorno Bowl. The first ever pick six in bowl history. But I think after you do get a pick six, you're awarded like some type of cringy celebration. But with that, we do take an 18 to nothing lead. And with the little cushion, we decided to give Hunter a chance with the point after. See if he can kick with. Just a little shy. I mean, to be completely honest, dude, if he would have made it in between those two crossbars, I think that should have counted as 25 points. So QB change here for the Pandas as Bean does take over. Drew wants a little break and tries to play receiver. First pass is completed to Rory for a first down for the Pandas. Connor grabs the flag as the Pandas are trying to chip into this lead. If they want to get back in this ballgame, they got to score quick. Another quick pass there to Rory once again as Cody does grab the flag as Roy does fall to the ground. So a little bit more of a rhythm here with Bean at the quarterback position. I don't know what he scrambled there for because he can't scramble unless we rush. But hey, the connection there. Mr. Bean with the dot as the Pandas do get on the board. Mike with the touchdown reception as the Pandas do elect to go for two. Bean again scrambling. The jump pass, not enough mustard on it. it was, he was attempting there like a, a Cam Newton or Tim Tebow jump pass. But the Pandas do get on the board as it's now an 18-6 ball game. Rejects with the lead. So looking to get that touchdown back. You're looking downfield, nothing open. But we do see Jay on the dig route at the first down marker. Big catch there from Jay as a quick pass here to the outside. Jay once again. That's going to be another first down for your rejects. Following the play, a quick little, I don't know what that was, like a little fake handoff to Cody. And initially, we got pressure, but a quick little out route to Cody. His first catch of the ball game, no, Mr. No, Gronk with the no, high no. step. <laughs> Dude, he makes me so freaking happy. Cody's so athletic. As we look to score a touchdown, it's so hard in this short little end zone. We see Hunter finally. He got open. He, he jumps. I don't think it was necessary to jump, but he makes the catch nonetheless. A little Cam Newton Superman pose. As your rejects look to convert our first two-point conversion of the ball game. As finally up, oh, no, no, come on now. Dude, what are these freaking gloves for? I was trying to be a nice team captain to buy all my teammates gloves. But at this point in time, dude, Cody might have actually played better with that. I don't think the painters are just trying to figure out what to do at this point. As they didn't look too happy. A little trickery here. I like what I see from them. Drew with the carry. That's a first down for the Pandas. Drew back in at the QB position. Looking for an open receiver. Back at the end zone. What a catch there from Rory. A dime from Mr. Not the Expert. Looks like an expert there. As the Pandas do get on the board again. As Drew lines up for the PAT. And look at that, dude. The Pandas do something the Rejects have yet to be able to do. And that's convert an extra point. Call on the play. Pump fake left. Deep fly. Touchdown. Facts. You heard me. Calling a pump fake. Then a deep pass left down the field. And look at it. Look at it. Touchdown deep to Hunter. The Pandas don't know what happened. We pulled out the pump fake and we executed. I'm like a young Pablo Picasso out here drawing the plays in my head. I mean, I told the camera what was going to happen and I executed. So I'm not necessarily Tom Brady, but I'm trying. But the question is, can we finally complete a two-point conversion? And yes, Cody with the hands of a goddess. A young miniature Gronk out there as your rejects do take a 32 to 13 lead. Panda's trying to get something going here. They have to pretty much score on every drive if they want to get back in this ballgame. A deep pass there from Bean. But look who it is. I'm there again. I'm like a young Ed Reed out here with the interception. My second of the ball game as Drew does grab the flag. He bows down to me, which I need to bow down to him. I mean, look at his YouTube channel on mine. So looking to extend this lead here. Another little pump fake. As we're looking deep pass down the field as Cody. Nope. Oh, come on now, dude. I was so proud of that pass, dude. It, I'm not going to lie. That wasn't supposed to go to Cody, but I, I still feel like he should have caught it. He's got to come out and execute on the next play. Second down. Looking for an open receiver. That's Cody. Like, Cody dropped some of the easiest passes, but what a grab that was. 
to next play. As once again, I don't know what I'm doing that little fake underneath like pass fake thing for. But anyways, incompletion there. Attempted for Connor. As looking to pick up the first down here. Deep pass down the field. And that's Mr. Connor. This time we do connect. The touchdown pass got past the safety. As your rejects convert another touchdown and take a 38 to 13 lead. Can we get this two point conversion? That is the question. Quick pass. And that was intercepted on a two-point conversion. Nice play there from Bean. I just want to throw the ball away before we got sacked. Nice play from the Beanster. Not the expert. How's it going? It's rough out here, man. <laughs> Had some bad breaks, but we're coming back. It's almost halftime. Let's go. A lot of game left. A lot of game left. He's right. Plenty of time left. The Pandas can definitely come back in this ball game. Not over yet. Not even halftime. As you're looking for a deep pass down the field. Tip and almost caught there from Mr. Mike. As Hunter got a hand on that but it falls down for an incompletion. Another reverse here from being high step, a flag missed as Hunter does eventually get him down as next play, Mr. Drewski scanning the field and that was almost intercepted as it's now a fourth down for the Pandas. They need about five yards to keep the chains moving. Drew a little short arm pass, Jay with the nice defense to knock the ball loose as it is gonna be a turnover on downs for the Pandas as this is the final play before half. In this huddle, I literally told everybody, hey, run your routes, but no matter what, this ball is going to Connor. And let's just watch this one for ourselves. And that is why we have Mr. Connor on our team. Connor with the touchdown reception right before halftime, as I'm apparently trying an Aaron Rodgers celebration as the last thing before half, gonna attempt another two point conversion. As the pass J comeback route, it is converted. As we do officially take a 46 to 13 lead. <laughs> Dude, I'm just seeing this. Dude, I love, I love how Hunter tries to fake him out so bad. Look at, look at it, look at the attempt. Dude, look at that, I love it. A lot to a little. That's all there needs to be said. I mean, at this point, I was actually just extremely happy with how this game has gone because we all hadn't played football together in probably five or so years. I mean, I told the team I wanted to score 100 points. I wanted to leave it all on the field. I didn't want anybody taking any plays off because I want the Rejects legacy to live on forever. As Pandas do get the football to start off the second half, a little reverse to Keanu as it looks like we can't grab his flag in the last second. Thank God, I think I was the one to eventually grab his flag as the Pandas coming out looking electric here. Being in at the quarterback position on the next play. A little short arm pass, a little bit too low for Rory to haul in. Being on the next play. Another reverse here. Drewski back to Bean. I don't even know what's going on at this point. Is that even legal in flag football? But Jay, nice play to keep him from getting to the end zone. Another little play action pass. Bean, he's looking, scanning the field. And at the last second, Rory finds his way open. I was like, Bean, please see me. <laughs> As the Pandas do elect to go for two to try to cut into this lead. And it looks like the pass was on point there for Keanu. But ball bounces out of his hands. Things looking up. Oh, yeah. We got a score. We still got time left in this game. We're I know. Good. We're, we're, we're good. good. Yeah. The opening drive, the second half, 46 to 19 rejects as we look to continue scoring as Jay with the reception. That's gonna be a first down to open up our first drive this second half. As this was my favorite play of the entire ball game for me personally. Pressure in my face. It was a tight little window to get that ball to Connor. An accurate ball, touchdown rejects as Connor gets into that end zone. It's like Edelman and Brady out here. Once again, electing to go for two because not too confident in our kicking as once again still failing on these two point conversions as that Pandas defense in the red zone is a force to be reckoned with. Ensuing drive for the Pandas. Looks like Mike and a little He's lateral as He's nobody can grab his flag as this is where in flag football it gets a little difficult. It gets hard to grab those flags. That's a spin move rating at 99 there as the Pandas scored one play. That's all, that's like Madden. Spin move. Spin cycle. Just keep on pressing B. As the Pandas do elect to go for two. Try to cut into this lead even more. Fake jump there from Drewski. He tries throwing it across the field. Nice play there from Jay. Literally just stuck his paws up there with his 6-4 oh. frame. And I think that is uh, <laughs> that is what you like to call unnecessary roughness and a penalty. Disclaimer. If I do have this score wrong in my commentary, you know what you can do? You can bite me. See if we can't answer the Pandas' previous drive. 
Quick little curl route to Jay. Mike misses his flag, Jay. Little juke move of his own. Stutter step and Jay is into the end zone. So the defense is here late in this ball game. We're having a lot of trouble actually grabbing the flags. Once again, going for Duke. Can we finally get it? Yes, Cody wide open as your rejects do take a 62 to 26 lead. Another fake reverse. Drew with a quick pass. Rory catches the football, but not much doing there. Next play, another lateral. Bean's going to take off looking for some blockers as Jay is going to make the tackle. And that's going to be a third down for your Pandas. Can the rejects force another fourth down? Nope. It's going to be a first down to oh, Mr. No, 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 Bean. No. <laughs> and somehow, some way, he got into the end zone there. Once again, dude, it gets tough late in these ball games to grab these flags as the Pandas do score. Bean with the touchdown. As Drewski sees a wide open Rory, two point conversion is complete. Woo. Comeback season, right? Rory thinks it's comeback season. We want to make sure it's not. Deep pass, first play, Hunter beats the man himself. Comeback season, right? Rory <laughs> got beat deep, Hunter got past him. As another touchdown for the Rejects, as it's now 68 points scored. The NFL draft rounds four through seven is just currently happening. Um, if we can quickly get this video up, nope. maybe maybe they can see my tape and draft me. That's can we finally get a two-point conversion to come back route. Cody, come on, dude. What are the freaking gloves for, man? As I mean, I thought that was a decently thrown football. I mean, it could have been better, but anyways. But man, I'm telling you, we are cursed on these two-point conversions. So the score, 68 to 34. Drewski getting pressured. The little, like, sidearm throw as Mike catches the football for a first down pain. Another quick little pass here. This time to Bean and Bean into the end zone as on defense. We're just, we're just kind of, you know, just kind of like whatever at this point as the pain is though. That does give him 40 points on the day as they're going for two. Again, the reverse Mike end zone. That's going to be a catch there from Bean as that is now 42 points for the Pandas. As we're trying to make the 70, another deep pass. This is Cody, and dude, guess what? Cody actually cut a pass. Miracles are happening here in Auburn. It's like, Cody, is that one the bucket? Yeah. It was quacking on the way, but it hit, hit the bucket. Yeah, it was an ugly pass, but as long as it was effective. And another two-point conversion not completed, man. I'm actually getting mad watching this. Got to definitely do that better for game two, which will be on Drewski's channel. As the Panda is trying to get something going here on this final drive. Quick little dump off pass all the way down, almost into the end zone. Got a little lucky as this flag fell off there at the last second. I don't know if I grabbed it or if it just elegantly and majestically just fell off his hip. This is going to be a first down and goal though for the Pandas. Being at QB, little jump pass almost intercepted there by Mr. Connor. Drewski back in at the QB position. At this point, he's just like heaving the ball deep and doesn't really care, it looks like. As that was a little bit inaccurate, as that is going to set up for the final play of this ball game. There's one second left on the clock. Can we hold them? Can we keep them out of the end zone? Being at QB, and of course, they had to score that last touchdown. Rory was a big red zone threat today, as he does grab the TD as the pandas do look to go for two but this was a pre-planned play to end off this ball game it's gonna be a 1v1 fade route J versus Bean who's gonna come out on top and that was dominated by J himself as I think the height advantage definitely came into play there I don't think that was necessarily pass interference just height definitely dominating on that play as final score on this matchup, this one going on your channel? Reject 74, Pandas 48, as handshakes all around, as it was a ton of fun. We'll get you next one. Probably will, honestly, look like defense like we just did. Yeah, make sure you go check out the one on my channel and see us <laughs> get to redeem ourselves. This was honestly so much fun to record. If you guys do enjoy this video, we definitely be down to do another one in the future. Maybe even go somewhere else and play another YouTuber and their flag football team. So make sure to smash that like button if you guys could enjoy. Thanks to everybody involved for making this video possible. Thanks to my cameraman, Steve, for making the trip. I honestly can't remember the cameraman name for the painters, but whatever your name is, thanks for being an absolute legend. And last thing before we do get out of here, time to go over the statistics. Through the air, I was 18 of 23 for 450 yards, 10 touchdowns and zero interceptions. Hunter led the squad with 133 yards and three touchdowns on four receptions. Connor with 106 yards, 
five receptions, all for touchdowns. So he led both teams with five receptions through the year. Cody with 100 yards even on four receptions and a touchdown. NJ with 111 yards through the air, five receptions and one touchdown. For the UGF Pandas, Mr. Drewski went three of 18, 221 yards, four touchdowns and one interception. Bean was six of eight, 74 yards, three touchdowns and one pick. Keanu led the Pandas with 108 yards through the air on four grabs and two touchdowns. Rory had 66 yards through the air with a game leading seven receptions and three touchdowns. Bean was 66 yards on five grabs with two touchdowns. Mike had 35 yards on two grabs and big old Drewski had 23 yards on his lone reception. Guys, that's gonna do it for the DiGiorno Bowl. Hopefully you did enjoy and go check out Drewski's game two on his channel. And before we get out of here, I might have a little something left to bring to the channel, possibly this weekend.